This video was made possible by the EA Creator Network. So I just wanted to quickly let you guys know you can still use my code Fantasia over on the EA app when you're at checkout. You can use it for any of the Sims packs and this does include kits. If you do decide to use my code, I just want to say thank you so freaking much. Seriously, it does help support me and my channel. So it really does mean so much to me. And with that said, let's just go ahead and get right into the video. Everyone, it's Fantasia. So today we are going to be going over the two new kits, the urban kit and the party kit. So I have already kind of like dressed my sims up in one outfit each. Of course, we're going to look at everything, but we have this sim here rocking this look and oh my goodness, it was so easy to pair this all together and make it look so good. I am obsessed. Like this is just like first impressions and I don't know. I love this look. Like everything came together perfectly and that was just one look that I decided to do right away. Then you can also go for something like this. You can go for a totally different vibe. This sim here is a new sim I made and she already had a lip piercing, but we get these new piercings here for the nose and oh my goodness, this makes me so happy because I have so many custom piercings and I feel like the ones we have in game, I don't know, they're not always my favorite. This one is so much better to me and I think it has something to do with the fact that the Urban Kit is a collab and I just feel like every single time that happens, they're so much better. So yeah, this kit is a collab with Ebonics and I just, oh my goodness, I fell in love and the piercings look really good on the males too. Also this necklace, but yeah, these are the three outfits that I made really quickly. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at everything. I just feel like all three of these Sims are rocking all the pieces and I feel like they all have very different styles. So I was really happy with that. So first things first, as usual, there's no hair. We never really get hairs with kits, honestly, which I know bothers some people. I honestly wish we got hairs as well, but we get this headpiece, which hold on. I want to show you guys over on this Sim here. Actually, I might actually just show you guys this Sim first entirely, like everything that's on her because her look is my favorite. This is so nice. I wish I could like, I mean, you can, I have to scroll way out though. <laughs> so there is like the entirety of it, but I'm going to zoom in. I love the swatches on this. They're so bright and colorful, but you can also just have no patterns on it. Whatever you want to do. If you want to go simple and just have a black one or a white one, you can do that too. And I think this was so well done. It looks so good on this Sim with her whole outfit. I was like, oh my gosh. So the accessories, you can see them here. I don't know, like I already talked about this, but obviously I've already said that I love this, but I just, I wasn't, why was I not expecting it? I saw the preview pictures for this. Were they in the pictures? I don't know, <laughs> but oh my God, I just love Obsessed. I guess I should have put it in this color. It kind of like matches. And then these new earrings that we get, these are so cute. I love this in the middle here. And again, it comes in all the colors. You can do whatever you want to do. I really like this purple one here. We even get pink and like a bright blue. Ooh, I love this and it's pink here. Just love. And then the necklace, which I definitely definitely noticed like, well, okay, we kind of saw the necklace even in the roadmap. And I remember being like, ooh, it's giving like Y2K vibes. Definitely didn't disappoint in game. I really like that. Okay. So that is pretty much like all the accessories. You know, I have them on this sim, this sim, but yeah, at least as far as accessories for like the face area, but we do also get three accessories for the hands, which I think this is the best way to show you guys these. I will go over the swatches, but it's kind of hard because it's going to keep on like trying to swap. You you see here. So it's easier if I go to the fingernails. So we do get these new nails and they are absolutely stunning. The, I don't know what it is, but the way they look so shiny. I don't know, just the little detail on these. I really, really love. This watch looks so good with her rings and her outfit and everything. And then you can see these rings. They're on both fingers. You have the option to either do them on one hand or both. They come in all the colors to match. Oh, that's the other side. <laughs> they come in all the colors to match everything. So these rings up close though, like I just gotta say, these are really well done. The detail is there. I love this one and these two right here. Gorgeous. And now moving into the outfits. So now we're going to be looking at everything on all the Sims here, but I just wanted to go over the accessories on her. So here is just a brief look at the tops we get. And then there's no full body. And then here are the bottoms that we get. So, and then for the males, I just want to kind of give you guys like a little preview for starters. And then for the males, and then again, the males do get one full body, so that was nice. 
And then here are the bottoms. And then as for like, you know, the accessories for the males, it's the same thing. And then they actually don't get shoes, whereas the females do get one pair of shoes. I expected shoes for both of them, but you know. Let's go ahead and start with her outfit. So she is rocking this top here. Oh my god. It looks like straight up custom content. Can I just say, this is actually one of my new favorite pieces. I gravitate towards CC a lot because, you know, I'm on PC and I have access to so much CC and I just can't contain myself. And so a lot of times when I'm making a sim, I will literally just filter by custom content. It's not that I don't like pieces we get in game. It's just that a lot of CC pieces just, I don't know, they fit the vibe I'm wanting better. But this, this is literally something that I would see from a custom content creator. And then these are the bottom she's wearing. So they're folded at the bottom. I really liked the way they looked with the top. And again, they come in just all the colors that kind of like match everything. So I thought this outfit just looked really, really good together. I love them in the white. I don't know, it just looks really good with this top here. And then I'm gonna just quickly put these on her for a second, which I love too. These boots also are giving CC energy. Like does anyone, I don't know what this is reminding me of but I was like, oh, I love the top part. Like it just looks so good. And then the zipper down the side. So those are definitely a pair of boots that you'll see me using often for sure. I do want to swap over to this sim here, which I'm just in love with her. So I have to showcase some of the items on her. <laughs> She's my newest sim, so yeah, that explains the obsession. Here is the top she's wearing, so I felt like this fit her style so well. You can see her tattoos and everything. This, oh my god. <laughs> I love the solid ones, but I also love where there's like, uh, you know, different colors going on. I, I can't. This is so good. And then the pants. I think these two pieces look so good together. This going up the leg, like, okay. It is giving. I, okay. Like, I just, again, CC energy. Like, it makes me so happy. Genuinely, you guys, yes, I feel like I need my mods. But I feel like I could play without CC. I'm just not going to because I love my CC. And mostly for, like, the skin details. Like, you know, like, how she looks here. Like, I wouldn't be able to do this without CC. But when we get kits like this, I'm just like, okay, like, I could ditch my clothes. <laughs> and then the outfit that I'm showcasing on the male sim here. So, you know, he has some of the accessories on, the necklace and all that. And then he is wearing this here. I love the denim over the t-shirt. It's super classic, but it's just like, I feel like these are, I don't know. I just think a piece like this is like a must have for me. I'll always get use out of them. And then we have the pants here, which are actually pretty unique. There's rips in them, but then there's also like so much going on, but not in a like, I don't know. I like them. Like it doesn't feel like too much. It actually works. So I could see myself using these as well. So like I said, they don't get shoes. So now let's just go ahead and look at everything else. So we get this here, which I was like, oh, because if you guys take the pants off, okay. Like, you would expect this to be in full body, but it's in the tops, and I actually like this because you could just wear it like this. Like, you know, I see girls walking around and things like this all the time, but you can put pants over it if you want to. So you have that option, and I don't know, that just, like, really made me happy. <laughs> being able to make that choice you know you could do whatever you want to do and literally this is so versatile like you could again like pair it with this skirt here but like you could just rock it like this and then why is it even giving like some sort of workout energy with sneakers like i don't know there's a lot of ways you could pair this honestly and then we have this top here which the males have as well and this one is just a graphic tee i feel like this definitely needed to be in an urban kit. It's perfect. I love the freezer bunnies. Like I love, I love every single swatch here. So we have this here. I believe the males also have this too, but of course I'll go over it. So again, this is just like a jersey and it has lots of different prints on it. And then this one we already saw, but it looks really good on the sim too. And then, okay, I know everyone is tired of the crop tops. I'm not. <laughs> I love myself a crop top. I mean, it makes sense. I feel like crop tops are just the thing now for like so long. <laughs> so it's never going away. Like it's just how people dress now because like high waisted is such a thing and it just looks better with a crop top. So I personally like, I'm just like, yes, keep bringing them. 
But I know some people feel differently about that, but I don't know. It looks so good. And then this we already went over and then we get this here, which again is giving me CC vibes. Oh, it's so cute. I love the little bow in the middle and we do get a couple that have patterns on them. And then, oh no, wait, I want to, I want to show you guys some on her, the other Sim too. I wanted to do half and half. Let's swap this here, which by the way, this one here also looks so good on her, but this here, I love that we have, I don't know. I feel like, yes, the whole kit is urban, but we're getting like so many different vibes here and i just love that oh my god this looks so good and then we get this here see what i mean there's like a little bit of everything and i like that like so i i know like some people want everything to completely match but no i love when it just feels like we're getting a variety of different pieces that i can like put on multiple different sims because yeah this is even giving like a very different energy too <laughs> and i love that this i have something similar in cc and again this looks like cc so i'm about that love and then as a far as pants we have the skirt which i kind of already showed you guys but i love i do wish it was a little more high-waisted but that might just be me i don't know i'm actually curious comment down below <laughs> i want to know if i'm alone in that i always wish the skirts were a little more high-waisted like pretty much every time we get a skirt from the sims because i will always pair a skirt with a like a crop top and if the crop top is this short i don't know i want the skirt to come up more so we saw the pants already and then we have like these basketball shorts which i believe these are the ones yes these are the ones that have the birthdays on them ebonics went ahead and like put her family's birthdays on these which i love that and then we have these here you could honestly dress these up or down which i really appreciate this could be a gym look but you could pair it with something fancy on top you could do so much with this and then the jeans that we already saw so that is all the bottoms like i said there's nothing in the full body and then over to the mills first and foremost i'm just gonna go over the full body so we have this one here which is just a nice pair of overalls i will admit i don't usually dress my sim in overalls but these are nice ones i just don't know how much i'll use them but like if i need a pair of overalls these are probably the ones i would gravitate towards okay so then of course the top he had on you know comes in all the swatches and then the same top as the females this one's also the same i really like it on the males though i like it even more on the males and then this one's the same too so everything you know is very similar for both male and female and then we get this here which I actually like this. I feel like I would put my sim in this on like a nice fall day or something. And then we get this one here. Again, another piece like this one that I feel like I can just throw on my sims like all the time. I really like the texture on this as well. And then we have the pants. So the same shorts here and then these jeans that we already saw. And then we get these here. So this is just a classic pair of pants, you know? Oh, it looks really good with that. I think that's everything. So we're gonna go ahead and head into Build By and go over the party kit. So jumping in to the party kit, we have one pre-made room pretty much as usual. So it has three different swatches. Ooh, okay. I'm loving that energy. We might actually have to place two down. I usually won't do that, but I'm loving the pink energy, but then I'm also loving this energy, kind of like my two personalities. Like, okay. <laughs> yes, I love. So this kit I was a little unsure about, but I didn't want to judge it too hard partially until I saw everything in my actual game. So we're going to be kind of going through this and kind of forming an opinion as we go. As far as the urban kit though, I was really impressed right from the start and seeing the stuff in game, I'm even more impressed. So that one is a win for me for sure. I'm sure you guys can tell, but this one I didn't know how to feel about as I place this stuff. I'm just going to kind of like talk about my initial feelings about this kit. I was expecting very like birthday party vibes and this is giving, I saw a lot of people saying this and I don't blame them. It's just giving like 2014 energy, but like not in a good way. I don't know. <laughs> Okay, I'm just gonna put this in here and, you know, we'll deal with it later. It just felt underwhelming to me. It's just not what I expected because, you know, originally I was pretty excited when I thought we were gonna get something party related because I feel like we need it really bad, but I just feel like it's not what I expected at all. Like, I still feel like we are lacking party stuff, you know? I don't know. I think they should have done something different with this. Like I said, a lot of people were saying that. So I'm curious if you still feel that way. 
after seeing this kit in your game if you did purchase it or seeing reviews whatever the case may be i'm really curious like what you think of it now but as far as like the ceiling stuff i usually don't really place these to be honest but i'll put them in the rooms because <laughs> why not and then you guys can see the disco ball there so i don't know if there's really a point in placing one down because i will go ahead and make sure to look at it we do get this new tv though which looks pretty sick i do think that looks cool and yeah it's not that like all of these items are bad or something we'll get into it <laughs> we'll get into it so as far as the tv goes i'm just gonna put it over here and we get these speakers here and then this little table see i don't know you guys i'm still like i can't lie i'm still very underwhelmed seeing all this like this is nice it's just i don't know it's not what i expected for this i don't know you guys like, I feel like a lot of these pieces could just be thrown into something else. I mean, yeah, like, this table is nice. It's, like, the perfect classic. I mean, I could throw this down at any party. But, like, <laughs> I don't know. And then, obviously, this is for, like, the cake to go on. Which will be nice to have. But, like, basically what I'm saying is, like, I could easily live without this. What is this? Oh, it's a dance floor. Okay. So, you can't change anything with that. And then, this is a bar. Which, yeah, like, it's a nice bar. But, I feel like... This this could have been thrown in anything. I just feel like I will overlook this kit a lot. Like, I think it's cool that we get a fog machine and stuff, but it's something I don't really care for. Now, these, I love myself some clutter. I do like these. The detail is not giving that much, but you know, I could see myself placing these down for sure. If I'm having a party and like this, this is like classic. You're going to want to put this on the table when you have parties, but of course, like you can't use it. And I don't know this. I'm glad is thrown in there. But again, I would have liked to see some different swatches. I do like that one and I like that one, but I want like, am I the only one who was like, oh my God, we're going to get more birthday party stuff. I have always struggled. This doesn't do anything. It's just, you know, confetti. <laughs> and then these balloons here so yeah like some of this stuff would be nice for like a new year's party i guess they were trying to make these pieces kind of work for any party but me personally i feel like we just needed more stuff for birthday parties i feel like birthday parties first of all are the most common parties that you'll have at least i don't know because i know a lot of players don't throw many parties in their game and i feel like birthday parties is kind of like if you're not a party person in your game you'll throw a birthday party anyways because you know it's your sim's birthday <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, I just think it's like the most common thing to happen. I know that my Sims rarely ever have parties, but a birthday party I'll try to do sometimes. I do like these. I, I think those are cool. And then like these balloons on the wall, I like those. I do think we needed like more balloons in the game for sure. So I'm not mad at that. And then we got this cool light. Oh, you can't change it actually. And then more streamers. Ooh, I like that one. And then this butterfly. Oh, okay. It comes in multiples. See, I like this. I feel like this is nice to throw on the wall. Oh my God. It's penguins. If you guys get the reference. <laughs> yes, I know they're flamingos. I feel like I need to say that. <laughs> Because some people don't know the joke. But anyway, this TV, the light in the back, I really like. So I will say I'm really glad we got a new TV. And then these speakers. Heading inside to one of the rooms. Here's how everything comes together. Like I said, this is not, it's not bad. It comes together nicely. I just feel like, I don't know. I, I feel like all this stuff is very much for like an adult party, which is nice and all, but just not personally for me. I feel like I have my Sim go party it up all the time, but I don't really have them throw parties like in their house or whatever or anything like that. Like I'll have them go party it up at the bar and that's kind of how I have my adults party. And when it comes to actually throwing parties, I'll do like birthday parties and things like that. And yeah, some of this stuff, I don't know. Give me like a kid's birthday party kit because those are the most exciting birthday parties to throw, you know, like you have a family and you want to give your kid the best birthday party. For me, this. Eh. <laughs> So we get these up here, like more streamers for the wall. But yeah. Oh, I like that swatch too. I don't know. After seeing this in game, I'm still pretty underwhelmed with it. Like I said, the items aren't bad. It's just not what I expected. And yeah, how do you guys feel? So that is going to be it. If I'm going to recommend any of these kids, it's going to be the urban one hands down. I do think if you're the type though to throw lots of different parties, this might be more worth it for you. But if you're like me and you really only throw like the necessary parties and you'll usually have your sim go out like for new year's my sims will celebrate but they're going out they're going to the bar they're going to the nightclub and like i don't really need this i don't know <laughs> but yeah it definitely depends on how you play i feel like that's how it is
varies with every pack. It really does depend on your personal play style. So yeah, I'm curious. Comment down below. What were you guys hoping for the party kit? And is the urban kit giving for you as much as it does for me? Because I'm an, I'm obsessed. But with that said, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up here. I hope y'all enjoyed. I hope you guys are having an amazing day and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys.